All right, what is up guys, quarterback Asian. I'm back with another video today. We have the highly weighted end of season helmet setup video. So let's hop right into it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little intro edit type thing. I did that last night. I thought it turned out pretty well. But um, today we're doing the end of season um, uh, helmet setup. Basically, so I'm gonna be going over the components of my helmet, what I changed, what I like and uh, what I think you guys should get for next season. So top right into the video, we're gonna start with the face mask. Now if you guys didn't know, I had a uh, face mask exactly like this, but it was white. I sent it into Green Gridiron. Nice voice crack you got there, Tanner. Um, I sent it into Green Gridiron to paint, and they did. I made a video on that, I'll link that down below. But um, it was this face mask. I actually really enjoyed this face mask. I ha I've had it on two helmets. I had that same style on a Zenith, and it worked out pretty well. But I just wanted more vision, so I decided to go with the um, most vision you can get in a, in a face mask for speed flexes. Just the standard two bar, and this actually really, really, you know, helped out my vision. When I first put it on, I was amazed of how much more two bars can make. The uh, three bar is basically one more bar here, and then one across, and then these bars I think are pulled together a little bit. I could be wrong. Um, but it just really goes to show that bars on a helmet are super, super important to your um, vision. So I really like the vision. I kept it. I had it for a game, and I had it for like a week of practice in a game. I don't really know why I bought it for the last game, but I just did because um, I just really wanted to get it on because I've seen how this looks on helmets, and it just looked awesome, and it gave me great vision. So it was like it was just like a, a, a no-brainer to get. So, uh, actually the first day I got it, I was walking back to uh, the locker room after practice and I dropped my uh, speed flex. And it's probably one of the first times I've ever dropped my speed flex. And to my luck, the first day I got, or the first practice, I chipped the face mask. Hope you guys can see that. I'll try to get it focused. But I chipped the, um, the bar. So that kind of is annoying, you know right here but I try to like move the paint or whatever so it doesn't really show but you can definitely oh I'm so out of focus my focus yeah all right so I try to like put this like the other thing on like the overlapped paint on it but it didn't really work and then I got this chip right here from a game so that one's like actually you know a legit battle of scar I guess you could call it and I got another one here and uh, that one game I took a lot of hits so that's probably why I have a bunch of dents or whatever in the face mask. But I actually am really impressed by this face mask. I really, really liked it for the one game I had. I'm definitely going to rock it next year. But um, moving away from the face mask, as you guys can see, I have this awesome, awesome shock visor. Thank you to Shock and Green Grinder for supplying me with this. The review is coming out soon, and I promise. I have been procrastinating like hell. It's been like they they sent it to me like three months ago. I know, I know. I'm really, I'm really trying to get that video out, but I just it's gonna take it's gonna it's gonna be a good video. It's gonna be a good video. You 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 guys waited three months and it's gonna be a great video. Don't worry about that. But um, this is the Shock 2.0 Lightning Football Visor. But I love this tint. Um, if you when you put the uh, helmet on the um like the uh, tint of what you see out, it's kind of a purplish purplish blue. Um, I wouldn't suggest it for nighttime conditions, but during the day, it is awesome. It kind of gives a sunglass type tint if you have like a purple Oakley, I guess. I tried on the purple Oakleys, and this is basically like the same what you see out of them. And it's really, really nice. It's not too dark, and you can't see eyes, which is cool. I love wind visors. Like, you can't see the eyes. You guys can see my camera right there. Love that camera. But, um... The tint in this is amazing. I love it. I've used it a couple times, uh, just throwing around and stuff. Never used it in practice. Our coach doesn't allow tinted visors in practices, but from what I can tell, it's really, really nice. Now, I scratched it up a lot because I didn't really know how to put it on until like three weeks ago properly. So now I actually know how to put on a shock visor, so now I can make a good review. So this shock visor is amazing. I rocked the clear shock visor for a practice shock visor for like the last practice of the season which was really really dumb i took it out just because visors in my opinion at least for my eyes 
like take a little bit getting used to it. it's kind of like a different depth perception so you kind of have to get used to them so if you get a visor I would suggest wearing it around the yard getting used to it because I wasn't used to it and when I got up there it was kind of like messing with my vision I don't know if it's a psychological thing or it was an actual like difference in how I saw probably just in the mind because I kept telling myself I was like wow I have a visor on this was really different but I don't even know if it was if it's actually different besides that I love this uh, visor uh, the giveaway winner, I haven't shipped that out yet. I really, really need to do that. I have a lot of stuff I need to do. Um, so, the visor's great. I love it. Review coming out soon. And uh, let's move on to the chin strap. So, as you guys know, last year I rocked a uh, TCP. But this year I decided to go with the standard hard cup. And this, this chin strap is the best chin strap I think I've ever had. The cup of the chin strap is very deep and it fit my chin very 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 well it's a medium this is a large helmet in a medium wait yeah this yeah this is a yeah Riddell large and this is a medium sized chin strap the larges are huge like I suggest getting the medium because the medium looks more like a large to me it fit with my jaw pad so like it wasn't cutting off the chin strap um, so it fit really well. I love the ratchet system. I didn't really like it last year, but this year I fell in love with it just because it keeps your chin strap tight and it keeps the helmet tight. So it just makes it all around safer. I never, I never had any problems with it getting jammed. I had some last year. That's probably because we played on a really bad practice field, but this year our field was nice for practice. So it never got caught and never did anything like that. You just push this button down here. And then um, up here is just the standard thing. Or whatever. This is always easy to change in and out, but I never had to do that. But um, as you guys probably know, Sports Star made a TCP or not TCP, a uh, ratchet system. This is great. I love it. Very comfortable. Very protective. Everything is awesome. So that's enough for the chin strap. Going on to the decals. This will be nice and nice, quick and sweet. We have the decals on both sides. I was number 16 for the second time in a row. Um, so that's awesome. And then. Uh, back here, I have, I put this on in the middle of the season, Green Gridiron sent me a pink flag chrome decal. It looked awesome. I love rocking breast cancer awareness stuff. So I rocked this, put it on at the beginning or the end of September, and then I wore it throughout October and just never took it off for the last last game in November. But it was really, really, really cool. I loved having it. it was, I, I was the only one that we had on the team. Hopefully we'll get like... Hopefully next year we'll be able to get like a, a ribbon for everybody on the team, but it looked awesome. Really, really good quality. I love decals. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to like collect decals. So if any of you guys have any like extra decals, just send them on over my way. I'll make a video on them or whatever. But um, that's it. Um, a cool little thing I have this kind of like it looks like a snake type, but it's like a really, really, really deep scratch. I don't know how I got it. But I think it was like someone had a chip in their face mask and when they hit my helmet, it just kind of like dragged. But I think it looks awesome. And it went down to the the uh, the gray part of the uh, uh, helmet, which is really, really cool. But I mean, that's why to do it. I love this helmet. It was great. Put it on again. I suggest everyone getting the speed flow. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. Um, but the mouth guard that he used. Alright, so I almost forgot, I was rocking the VTEX, VEDEX, I don't really know how to say it, mouth guard. A lot of quarterbacks don't use this, the only one I know is like Lamar Jackson, because it like muffles your voice, but for me, it didn't really do that. I wore a standard mouth guard that connected to my face mask for the first half of the season, then I lost it, I think, and I've been using this, and I love it, I'm definitely using this next year. Really, really comfortable, just could pop it out real quick. Um, I'm... Don't know why, but I took the strap off. The strap is really nice. I took the strap off. I think it was just because there was extra slack or whatever, and that was bothering me. But this this is a great, great mouth guard. I'm probably going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Battle mouth guard. They're pretty similar, but I like this one better. But this is a good product. So I suggest it for every position, even quarterbacks. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. That is my end-of-season 2017 helmet setup. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, if you haven't already. Quarterback HD, signing off. Peace.